Welcome to Revive Recipes. Today I am going to show you how to make cream puffs and it's so much easier than what you think. So come along and let's get started. Okay, so you may have noticed that we're standing in front of the cooktop. Today, we're going to make our uh, cream puffs with choux pastry. Fancy French name. It's just much easier to cook or to make than what you think. And it's actually made in the pot. So to get started, we need a half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, and one stick of unsalted butter or um, eight tablespoons. And I've cut these up so that they just break apart real easy in here because we want them to melt. A quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna cook this on medium heat and let it cook and melt until it forms little bubbles and starts to boil. Okay, you can see it's starting to bubble. At this point, just slide it off the burner for a minute. Dump your flour all at once, one cup of flour, all at once and stir. And just keep stirring. You want to get it all mixed in. And put it back over the heat slightly on very, very low because you, know, you need to cook it so that the flour can cook slightly and you need it to kind of form a solid ball and move away from the sides of the pan. Okay, now we're going to take this. Okay, we just transferred from the burner uh, to the hot pad. And now we are going to put four eggs in it, but one at a time. And stir, stir, stir. See how this looks? You just gotta keep mixing until that egg gets all mixed in there. And then we're gonna add the second egg. Okay, now take a look at this. See how it just kind of drops down like that, makes a little ribbon? That's what we want. Now we're ready to put our pastry in the pastry bag. And I just have a little half inch tip on the end. and you just scoop it all in the bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, again, like I always say, you can use a Ziploc bag and just cut the corner off. And then squeeze it down. All right, so. Now, 
we want to put it on the baking sheet. And you want them to be a good inch and a half apart. All right, now with the little peaks, we just want to take our little damp finger and pat them down. The finger needs to be a little damp. That's why I've got my water here. Okay, that's it. Now we're ready to put it in the oven. We put it in the oven and bake it at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, then turn down your temperature to 375 and bake for another 15, 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it. You'll know when they're done. They'll be nice and puffed and golden. So let's put them in. So, our cream puffs are all done baking and have all cooled. And you can see they're this beautiful golden color. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut. There's, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could just take your pastry bag, pop it in the side and just fill it that way. Or the way I'm doing it is you take a serrated knife and you just gently cut through and see that we have a hollow little cream puff and we're going to do that to all of them. Okay, now the next step is I've put my whipping cream in my pastry bag and you just want to make up your whipping cream and what we're going to do is just fill up our little cream puff. Oh, it's scooching away. You can put as much whipped cream as you want in there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, that should do it. Now, the next thing we want to do is put a little powdered sugar on it. And, you know, there's not a lot of sugar in the actual pastry part of it. So, feel free to put a little extra powdered sugar on if that's what you want to do. We won't judge you. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll plate them, and they're ready to serve. How's that? Is that beautiful? Look at that. We thought it would be fun to show you one more of our rooms here at the B&B. &B. Um, it's one of my favorites, and it's the most popular room here at the end. So we're going to include that footage um, coming up next. So you all have a great day and enjoy your cream puffs. See, wasn't that easy?